Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So for those who do not know me, hi, my name is Heather. Welcome. So um, last week I actually ended up uploading um, a Let's Be Real Self Love 101 and if, and if you have not seen that video, I will link that video down below so that you guys could see it. So in today's video, actually guys, you know what, um, this is really, especially for me, I always felt like it was really important for me. Um, so the topic that we're going to talk about is, um, baby steps, taking baby steps. And, you know, um, I just, I, I just found this out just like a couple of hours ago. And I really wanted to share this with you guys because, you know, I don't know, because I don't know maybe if it was just me or maybe some people might feel it too. But here's the thing. So at the very beginning of this whole um, self-love journey that I've been having, I've been taking a lot of time for myself, you know, like um, nice things to do for myself, you know. So I've been doing that lately, a lot of them. And um, as as I've been try as I've been doing them, I started to feel like it wasn't about me having to do them. If you get if, if you get what I'm trying to say, it was more to it than just that. I felt like for you to be able to connect to yourself, it was physically and mentally, emotionally and spiritually. That's how you feel like you, you could connect to yourself. And even though I was doing all those great stuff for myself, sorry, <clears throat> um, I felt like it was just more to it than just that, you know? So then I, I, I ended up ended up writing um, uh, a little list of self-love list that I call it my self-love list because I actually had another list, a bucket list that I wanted to accomplish and I accomplished some of them. But then my list was very long and I'm not saying that I could, I, that I cannot accomplish it. Trust me, I know that I can accomplish it. But sometimes um, when you do some of them and then one, once you actually reach the end of the bottom and then it, it kind of feels not impossible but then a little bit of more of a struggle for you to do but then I'm like okay you know what maybe if I work on myself more than having to work on what I want to do if you know what I mean like it's not about the things that you do it's 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 the thing that you need to work on is yourself before you could actually work on the thing that you want to do if if that makes any sense to you guys so let's just like so like let's just say that I want to go bungee jumping, which is actually one of the lists that I wanted to do, and then but then there there is actually a little bit of a downfall to it because of my weight. There's an there's there's an actual um there is an actual weight limit for it, and then I can't even do it because of that weight limit. And then now that's just a bit of like mm, you know kind of a uh I wouldn't say a, a rock bottom, but more more of like a situation. So then, what can you do to fix that situation? You know what I mean? So so now I'm thinking, you know, I'm going to put that list aside. And I'm going to start doing things that will help me. As I said, physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. And it was not because you need to do something. Like, sit down at a Starbucks. Which is, which is, which is something that I, that I like to do. <laughs> But like, but like, there's just more to it than just that. Like, if if you once you think about it, right? And to me, that's what I ended up, actually what I ended up feeling yesterday. And I was like, wait, it's more to it than just that, you know? So I really wanted to share this with you guys. And then and then um and then I, and then I also felt like sometimes I would have these promises to myself, especially those that list that I'm telling you guys, like my, my bucket list. Um, I have a lot of them. I probably have like 31 things to do. <laughs> and I probably crossed out like maybe like five or ten of them. And I still have a lot to go. But then I, I, I did I did stumble upon some difficulties with them. So then, but then, so then I started to feel like, okay, you know what? Maybe it's not about my list. I think it's more that I have to work on myself. And like just break it down. And just once you actually reach that positive mind that you have of yourself, maybe you could go you could go back to that bucket list. So right now, I actually made a list of um of I call it self love um list that I wanted to do. So starting today and the end of September, 
I wrote some three things that I wanted to stick on, stick with, which are really important for me right at this moment right now. So number one is having to write in my gratitude journal every day. I actually wrote one this morning. It felt really good. <laughs> I, just, I actually just started yesterday. So number two is um, taking a walk every day for 30 minutes, which is important to me because it's my health. And number three, keep a positive mind, which I struggle with a lot. So these three things are very small, I know. But then maybe if you break it down a little bit, maybe you won't struggle as much. You know what I mean? So I feel like I, I struggle with a lot with, with having to have a big list. So I broke it down into baby steps. Maybe it will help me more. And I hope that maybe if you guys are struggling too, maybe you, you can just break it down a bit. And so that it won't feel overwhelming, you know? Because that's what I'm actually feeling right now. Like yesterday, I, I was feeling a, a lot of overwhelm yesterday. Like I was feeling overwhelmed yesterday a lot. And um, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna break it down. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this, you know? Be positive mind, positive vibe. You know, you got this girl. You guys got this. Trust me, it's hard. Yes, I know. And as I said so many times in my videos, I've been there. Like, I know the struggle. And, you know, it's just... I know. Like, I know. Trust me, I know. And, and having that positive mindset is actually going to change you. It's going to change you and the way that you see life as well. So always keep in mind, positive, positive. Okay guys, positive, I know. I know it's hard, but positive right here. So yeah. You know what guys, I love talking to you guys every single day, you know. Um, I want you guys to comment down below and I want you guys to, to, to tell me, um, what are you guys grateful for, you know? Or, or, or like, you know what guys, or, or, or like start, start a little journal for yourself if you want to. And like write things on it, write on all the stuff that, that, that you guys are grateful for, which is actually pretty awesome, right? So, and you know what guys, thank you guys so much for watching my video. I love you guys and I will see you guys next time.